Well, hello everyone, and thanks for joining me today at Wynette's Crafting Corner. In today's video, I want to show you just a few of the things that were gifted to me on my recent trip to Italy. My first little gift came from Rachel. There's a cute little tag in there. Welcome to Italy. I hope you have a wonderful time. Best wishes, Rachel. And yes, I did have an absolute wonderful time. So this slides off and there's a nice little uh, wax seal there. I hadn't opened it up yet because I knew I wanted to open it up on camera so you guys could see it. I love this paper. Very cool. You know, we all love the paper, don't we? Oh, look it. Oh. It's a little pouch. Oh, you know, oh, and she slow stitched it. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Oh my gosh. Thank you, Rachel. That's where my sewing needles are going to go in that little pouch. Oh, I just love it. What a treasure. Thank you so much, Rachel. Oh, lovely. And then, I mean, I tell you, Rachel was generous. I got a couple of things from her. Well, we all did. So then when we left, she gave us this. And again, a nice little tag. And it says, thank you so much for joining us on this adventure. It has been such a joy. I hope you enjoyed it all. We did. I hope you enjoyed all we did. Hugs, Rachel. Yes, I did enjoy it. It was, it was absolutely delightful. Now, I did open this up because I was very curious to see what it was. Now, we've seen Rachel in um, her Roxy Creations weekly challenge do these. And this was so cool. So what she did is she typed up part or some information about um, the town we were in that we stayed in and then some more information about another area we were in Pisto pistoia i probably am not saying that correctly and then san leo we went to this little town here. And then this was where the library from the 15th century was. Um, and we saw books there. Beautiful. And then she just told us some more information. Look at the oldest book dates to around 800. Isn't that amazing? One book cost about the same as a house. Uh, some books are religious, but others cover a wide variety of subjects, such as theology, medicine, law, and philosophy. Ooh, I'd love to see the ones about medicine. Most of them are written in Latin. There are 44 windows to allow as much light as possible. No candles were allowed for fear of fire. And I will put some pictures of the library. We were able to take pictures of it. And so I'm going to put some pictures in my video. I'm going to do like a video log um, and show you that. So this, and I'm also going to make a journal. So this will definitely also go in the journal. And get that bow tied. Here's some pictures of the library. That's the front of the building. 
And like I said, uh, construction began in 1447 and it was completed in 1452. That's a little plaque that was on the front of the building kind of explaining about it. Apparently this is one of the largest manuscripts that there is. Um, it was all kinds of historical plaques on the wall. Now this is a door to lead into the main part of the library I, that I believe had the oldest books in it. The woman to open those doors had to use two keys and she locked the door behind us as we entered it. And you can see that there are uh, books that are chained to the pews so nothing can happen to them. Nobody can take them. Apparently, I think each book, Rachel said, was insured for a million dollars. They do occasionally have somebody take uh, two of the books out. Now those are two of them that I'm showing you right there. They rotate them to bring the books out and apparently let them kind of breathe. Now apparently when Napoleon's soldiers use the library as their dormitory, they whitewash the walls and when they restored the library, they cleaned the walls and they discovered uh, a green color which you can see right there. They also found many dated inscriptions on the wall and all the seats and books were hidden in a convent. Um, one of the other interesting uh, things about it is that the structure of the library was created so that the humidity remains constant and that is right, the reason the parchment pages are in perfect condition today. And then this little slow stitch kit I think was given to us and when I edit the video if I'm incorrect I will correct it. But look at all these beautiful buttons here that were in it. They came from Shelby. And there's some DMC. It's wrapped up just beautifully. She made the yo-yos. I do remember her telling us that. So I'm pretty sure it came from Shelby. She was a delightful woman on the tour. Full of energy, very positive. She's a junk journaler too. I don't believe she has a channel. She should start one. Look at that cute little pin there. It's got a kind of a greenish button on there and some, some beads. And like I said, she said she had sewed the yo-yo. Some nice ribbon here, a trim that's pink and brown, a beautiful piece of applique, some more trim, several pieces of trim. Oh, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, that looks handmade. Look at that. It's very, very delicate. Oh, that is just beautiful. You were very, very generous, Shelby. Once I get my things from Italy that are being shipped, I'm going to ship you a little happy mail of some of the ledger pages I got and what have you. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, some more buttons in there. Oh, that's beautiful. And let's see. Oh, that's cute. A little bitty postcard.
very nice. Oh, you were so generous. Oh, got some more buttons tucked in here. Here's another one. Shelby, do you sell these kits? You should. This is a lovely kit. You need to put some of these together and, and put them in the Etsy store. I'm a fan of pink. I like pink. Wow, you just went all out for us. Oh, and some doilies. Oh my gosh. Look at this beautiful hanky. It feels like linen. It feels beautiful. Look at that cut work in there. Oh, that's going on the front of a journal for sure. That is just lovely. It, I wonder what that is. It's, it's just a soft linen, either that or it's silk. Another little piece of a doily and then a really nice, good size napkin. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, thank you so much. That was so kind of you. Like I said, I waited to um, open it up because I wanted to do it on, on camera. Let me just put it all together so I don't lose it. <coughs> Sorry for the cough. When I was in Singapore, I developed uh, asthma. Well, I didn't develop it. It, it occurred. I've had it my whole life. Um, I think it was from the heat and the humidity. And so I'm just getting over that cough now. Okay. So then... One of the owners of the shop that we shopped at, I'm, gonna, I'm not quite sure how to turn this, but anyway, I don't know how to do this. Anyway, I was, I, I had already checked out and I believe two boxes of things that I bought, like, one thing I bought was a whole bolt of hemp, but two boxes are being shipped from his store. And I had already checked out and paid for everything, shipping and what have you. And I saw this laying on a table and I picked it up and I asked the gentleman, oh, how much for this? And he just just kind of waved it and put his hands to his heart and you know implied it's a gift and and I gave him a big old hug I mean look at this let's see if I can find a date but look at these images and it's big there is a lot of pages you know I've decided I'm going to say, since I did that interview with Rachel and I got so many comments about people complimenting her on showing her face, I decided I'm going to show my face more and what you see is what you get. Look, I got my, my nightgown on and my slippers. So, you know, I'm going to stop being so shy about that kind of stuff. I think most of us kind of craft in comfortable clothes. But anyway, look at how many pages it is. Isn't this lovely? And it was a gift. Oh, what a look at. It just goes on and on and on. Well, I'm definitely scanning these images. <clears throat> That's for sure. But yeah. Look at just, oh, what a lovely gift. I wish I could find the year. I sure don't see one. 
but it's old. Anyway, wasn't that lovely? And then the other thing that I received from Rachel when I went to her home and did the interview is she gave me two books. What a collection that woman has. Fantastic. And I hope you don't mind that I'm sharing that you gave me these books, Rachel. But I really appreciate it. So I looked at this one up. It's from 1771. And it is talking about mor uh, morals. It's kind of a religious book. But it's got that gorgeous, gorgeous rag paper that we all love. Ooh, you just want to feel it. Ooh. And then this little treasure of a book. Uh, let's see. It's from 1776. Let's see. What was it about? Oh, you know that Google Translate. That is such a fantastic app. You just hover uh, your camera over the image and it translates it for you. But this is also that beautiful rag paper. So that was very sweet. And then I don't know if you guys remember, she went to a convent that was, um, I don't know, they were selling everything out of the convent. And she had a stack of papers and she gave me a few of them. Now look at this from 1837. Look at that date right there. It's, it's very fragile. And that was back when they folded the paper in such a way and put, let's see, how did it go like that? A, um, a wax seal on it. And then that was how it was mailed. That was how it was sent in the mail. Isn't that incredible? And then this one, beautiful blue paper, 1847. And again, it was folded where the address was on the outside. They didn't have envelopes. Then this is 1804. I believe that looks almost like a prayer. I'm going to look that up too, and I'll put it when I uh, edit the video. And then all these, they were, again, I believe they are letters from the convent. And I've looked at all of them, but look at that penmanship. I have looked and looked and tried to see if I can find a date, but I can't find a date. I don't know, but you can tell they're quite old and they were all wrapped into this beautiful paper. So I'm going to also be scanning some of these. And, uh, oh, one more thing I forgot to show. The gentleman at the shop that gave me that beautiful um, paper with those uh, colorful women on it, he also gave me this. He, he gave one to everyone. It, it wasn't me specifically. But uh, okay, it's got this little twisty thing to hold it. It's a necklace. And I thought I would use the beads in a journal or just hang it somehow from a journal. So this was a gift from one of the uh, other ladies that attended the tour, she had bought an entire roll of this and she said, I will never be able to use it all. And so she gave me and another person um, part of it. And wasn't that kind? I don't know anything about it other than I can tell this is a picture of Christ I can see the thorns here above his head, but isn't that lovely? So I've scanned that. 
Now there was another thing that I had received from Margaret and her daughter Natalie. It was an apron with a koala bear on it. They're both Aussie girls. This is a picture of all of us at dinner. What an incredible restaurant this was. We were fortunate enough to go to it twice. Now, the first night that we went to this restaurant, they served this tortellini with black truffles on the top. Look at how many truffles were put on that dish. If you don't know what a truffle is, it can be a chocolate, but it really is a mushroom and they are quite expensive. I looked up the price, about $169 for four ounces. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you for joining me at Wynette's Crafting Corner. I need to get some of these things that I purchase into my Etsy store. Bye, see you again soon.